What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Welcome to A. Nicole Tarot. I'm your girl, A. Nicole, and I'm here to deliver another general reading for my collective booze. So y'all come on in. All right. Thank y'all so much for y'all's likes, y'all love, y'all shares. Thank y'all so much for the love you give the channel, the engagement that you give the channel. Special thank you to my booze who be hitting up my tip jar. So thank you if you have ever sent me a PayPal or a cash app tip. I appreciate you and I always send an extra one up to the most high for you in gratitude. Um, also, thank you to my booze who've been booking a personal readings with me. I've gotten back into that this week and y'all, I really, I really like connecting with y'all. Like I, I do, I love doing readings for y'all. I do. I like it. It's it's really cool. So, um, shout out to y'all. Okay. I want to please remind you to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm. It helps us grow. And it makes your girl so happy. You can go ahead and do that, especially while you wait on that commercial to run. Okay? Um, please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is a general reading. It's not a one-to-one. -one. If you would like to schedule your personal reading or connect with me off of here, I will leave all of that information in my description. Okay? Um, but please, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I can't stress that enough. Okay? If you have to switch some energies around, you are also free to do that as well. Okay? Um, I have already hollered at our ancestors and our spirit team, and we are ready to rock. Also, please be aware of people out here who are moonlighting as me. Be aware of scammers. This is my only YouTube channel, and the links that I've provided in my description box are the only ways to get in contact with me. Anything other than that, I don't know them people. I don't know what they got on. They got going on, okay? So, hmm, first car it comes out is detoxify full moon and tour and taurus hmm. this taurus energy taurus energy can be a bit stubborn it's a fixed sign it's stuck in its ways you know um <laughs> a lot of taurus energy they do what they want when they want it you know you're not going to rush a taurus you know you're not going to make a taurus do something that they don't want to do um, they're very bullheaded, you know, if you will. So with that being said, I'm picking up on a lot of energy that a lot of you all are holding on to some shit that spirit been trying to tell y'all to let that shit go. Please detoxify. Please. Full moons come and come in a time when we need to release. When we're pent up. You could be angry about something, especially with this bull. This could be something that you're angry about, something that you have feelings about. But a lot of you are holding on. You're stubbornly holding on to something. I'm really picking up on that. You could be a Taurus or it could be about a Taurus. Um, and Spirit is really calling you to detoxify. You also have first quarter moon in Capricorn. Unleash your kindest self. Hmm. I don't know why I'm picking up on. I don't want to say mean energy, but a lot of you can be a lot kinder. A lot kinder. And I'm not even talking about to other people. How about to yourself? You know, a lot kinder to yourself. But if we do talk about other people, it could be you can be a lot kinder to your children, your spouse. First quarter moon in Sagittarius, believe in your good luck. Hmm. A lot of you all are holding on to shit that's fucking with your prosperity. You could be hurt. You could have went through a lot of stuff. And now, you know, you're lock off. You don't want to deal with anybody. You could be heading towards being mean and surly. You know, this is giving energy of, I'm never going to love again. I'm never going to let nobody else in. I'm never going to this, this, that. And because when you do that, you're shitting on your good luck. You're telling spirits you don't believe in your good luck. You don't believe in your divine right and blessing to expand and we got to get you out of that first card is taurus which is a fixed sign it talks about holding on to shit fixating on shit being stagnant if you will the last card is sagittarius which is a mutable sign mutable signs change they mutate they're open to change Sagittarius about is about expanding, stepping out of your comfort zone, going out 
side of what you're used to. Allowing your ships to finally come in. Going out to meet new people. Believing in your own luck. Being optimistic. Bottom of the deck, we have clear your mind. Last quarter moon in Gemini. Some of y'all's mind is going a mile a fucking minute. Y'all holding on to something that you need to let go of. And I'm a bit disappointed because we're in a brand new fucking year. And I've been telling y'all all 2023 to let these hoes go, let these hoes hoe, and let these hoes know. Even if you don't. Hmm. Let me clarify. Let me clarify. So we have full moon in Taurus, detoxify. And not my Taurus dog just running um, running off to the side. Um, first quarter moon in Capricorn, unleash your kindest self. First quarter moon in Sagittarius, believe in your good luck. Okay, let's talk about it. Harley doll. You got my sports bra. Okay, so let's talk about this. First quarter moon in Taurus. It says to detoxify. Can we get more energy on this, please, spirit? Six of Wands. This talks about a recognized victory, success, having some sort of achievement, significant progress, good news. Spirit wanted to bless you with something. And I feel like you can't get this recognized success unless you detox. You get rid of shit that does not serve you anymore. Let go of things that do nothing for you. So that you can ride out on your white horse and, re and receive your success. Receive your recognition, your victory. That's what's holding a lot of you back from success. Is you holding on to shit. You know, and spirit is saying, let that shit go. How are you going to be receiving of accolades, gifts, success, achievement, victory, and all of that, and you still holding on to nasty shit? You're still holding on to darkness. Or you're still stuck in your ways. Or you're being stubborn about something. That's what's holding a lot of you all up. And I know that's a bitter pill to swallow, but y'all better <coughs> swallow it. Because it's the truth, Ruth. Eight of Cups. Child, the next card. <laughs> this talks about you taking action. Embracing some sort of change. Walking away from what doesn't serve you. Walking away with that, with, from what doesn't make you feel good. Okay? Leaving shit behind. Illusions. Particularly when it comes to shit about your feelings how you feel about shit and going out to search for what satisfies you go out to search for what makes you happy taking action towards that saying yo this situation or how i feel i don't feel fulfilled i don't feel successful i don't feel like i need to be where the fuck i want to be or i'm at where i want to be or whatever so i'm going to go out and i'm going to do what the fuck i need to do to get there and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to walk away from shit that's toxic. People, habits, places, things, whatever. Sorry, y'all. Two of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay? Two of swords talks about stagnancy. Not being able to make a decision. Not being able to make a choice because you're blinded. Her arms folded right across from her. She can't see. You know, she's blinding. Blinded, I'm sorry. She can't see her arms across. She can't take no action. But you see that small moon in the back? That moon talks about some sort of truth. Intuition. You know? Something in the background for her. That she needs to be paying attention to. Okay? So, Spirit is saying, baby, it's time to make a decision about something. And also pay attention to what we're trying to show you so that you can make that decision. You know? Because Two of Swords also talks about an uncertainty. Not being able to make a decision because you're uncertain. You don't have all the facts. Hmm. And all that's going to do is lead you into that three of swords energy of getting your heart broken. 
That's why you need to look and see what the hell is going on. Pay attention to what the hell is going on. Detox from what the hell is going on. That's not for your highest good. So you avoid getting hurt. You avoid su suffering some sort of loss. Detoxify that shit. Whoever it is, whatever it is. Because it's not going to do nothing but lead you not into green pastures, but to hell. Yep, four pinnacles. A lot of y'all are holding on to shit. Being too possessive. Okay? Too clingy. Too controlling. I don't know if it's your coins. I don't know if it's uh, uh, energies, people that you feel have a lot of value, a lot of worth. And spirit is like, ah, uh -uh, let that shit go. Let it go. A lot of you all could be already detoxifying, walking away from shit that doesn't serve you. You could already be in this energy. And with that six of wands, their spirit is saying that they are proud of you. Wow, the fool card just popped out over all of this. You are being called to detoxify, baby. You got a new life. This is a brand new fucking year. You're being called to step out there. For a lot of you, step out there by your damn self. Without the people or the energies, the habits, whatever that y'all are trying so hard to desperately hold on to. No, you're being called for some sort of a new journey. A reset. Okay, you're leaving the bullshit behind. And that's why you have to detoxify because God damn it, the shit cannot come with you. Them people cannot come with you. Them habits cannot come with you. You see this, this person, what I love about the fool card every time I see it is this motherfucker only got the little stick with the little um bag over it. That used to be in the cartoons when I was growing up. Ain't no t suitcases, trunks, all of this baggage, no. That's why you're being called to detoxify. Because this journey that you're going on, you can't take all of that shit with you. I tell y'all this all the time. Anything else for detoxify before we move on, spirit? Anything else for detoxify before we move on? All right. Unleash your kindest self. A lot of you all... I feel like spirit is calling you to be kinder to yourself. Capricorn energy says full first quarter moon in Capricorn. Capricorn energy is very Saturn. It's very serious, very structured, disciplined, not a lot of room for wiggle room, very focused, you know, stern, you know, that that that's that stern energy. You don't really leave a lot of room for kindness, you know. So come out of that just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit be kinder not just to others who who are deserving of it but also to yourself four of wands wow four of wands talks about a foundation of some sort you know stability of some sort being harmonious this could be this could have something to do with family a marriage a relationship a foundation you know what spirit is saying? Unleash your kindest self, especially on this new journey of yours, this new fool journey you're on. When you start to meet people, this new foundation that you're solidifying, also unleash your kindest self. You know, now that you've done all that detoxification, you know, it's time to unearth your kindest self. Okay? Harlem, what are you doing? Oh. What else? Unleash your kindest self. Nine of swords, child. <sighs> Nine of swords, haunted by a loss, anxiety, being up all night, insomnia, nightmares. A lot of y'all are being hard on yourselves. Especially, it could be as it relates to a relationship. A connection, some sort of foundation, how it went, some sort of an ending with someone you may have had a commitment to or some sort of stability to. It could be, it could have been a marriage. Hmm. And you haven't really been kind to yourself. Some of y'all been beating yourselves up about it. How it ended, how it disconnected. Child. What'd I tell you? Three of swords. Oh, my Lord. 
lot of y'all been hurt. A lot of y'all are dealing with some sort of pain, heartbreak, loss. You could be fighting someone, battling someone. You could be disappointed into someone or disappointed in someone. It could be a misunderstanding. A lot of you have been hard on yourselves. Knight of Swords. This talks about a lot of aggressive talking, a lot of aggressive arguing, rushing in to talk, rushing in to quarrel, rushing in to fight. Hmm. And Nine of Cups is wishes coming true. And remember, Nine of Cups comes after Eight of Cups. After you've left behind what doesn't serve you. And I said, you need to seek what does fulfill you. This is what's going to happen. When you unleash your kindness self, stop being so hard on yourself. Whatever the fuck this is, it happened. You don't need to be haunted by shit. You don't need to be kept up by nothing. Your main focal point right now is to keep putting one foot in front of the other and see what else life has to offer you in this brand new year. I know that it's easier said than done, but it can be done. I... I Whenever I post like on Twitter or Instagram and I say some shit about releasing toxic shit to have a nice life or letting go, da 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 da, -da, -da. motherfuckers always be in my comment, oh, easier said than done. Who the fuck said it was easy? Who? And I always tell them, but that doesn't negate the fact that it can be done. Just because it's hard does not negate the fact that it can also be done. And that's what's going to separate you from these motherfuckers out here that's just accepted life for what the fuck it is and they just miserable. The hard work. Nine of Cups. A lot of you all, self-fulfillment wants to find you. Wishes coming true wants to find you. Abundance wants to find you. Happiness wants to find you. But how the fuck you gonna get all of that if you're countering it with anxiety strife having hate in your heart holding on to residual shit not putting yourself on a vibration to match it I, make make i mean make it make sense some of you all could be very argumentative you know defensive and i mean i get it you've been through a lot you ain't got time for the bullshit you've been hurt but spirit is like uh-uh in this chapter, everybody ain't like them. In this chapter, everything ain't going to be like that. This is a good chapter for you. This this new journey, this new leap of faith, we're trying to have your, your wishes coming true. Now, don't have the courage to walk away from what doesn't serve you. Finally walk away from it and then get into a new chapter. And now you're going to use that same pain, anger, and, 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 and residual toxicity to gatekeep the good shit that's trying to come to you. Make it make sense. You might as well stay back there in the last chapter. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> Sword energy is very analytical. Also communicative. You know, not really. Sword energy, king of swords really doesn't really lead with their heart and their feelings. They lead with their thoughts, what they observe, what they've analyzed, what, they, what conclusions they've come to. They're really clear and cut. And spirit is saying, that's cool, but counter some of that king of sword energy with also being kind. Okay? Also being kind. Also softening yourself up. Softening yourself back up. I know this world wants us to be hard, but no. Sun card. This is the best card in the deck on top of the worst card in the deck. The sun card talks about happiness, vitality, blessings. You know, your joy coming in the morning. The sun shining on you, particularly after a period of depression. And you cannot meet that energy if you're somewhere sulking in misery. You can't. You can't. Eight of Swords. Wow. You can't meet that memory if you stuck on the past. Stuck in your feelings. See all this water here? Stuck in your head. Stuck in your thoughts. Come out of that. Unleash that. 
Let that shit go. Anything else? Unleash your kindness, self spirit. Anything else? Thank you. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. You got new, new energy coming in. New people who are interested in you. Cup energy, a oh, water sign energy. I could be talking to her about a Pisces placement in particular. But you have new love, fresh starts with your creativity, fresh starts with your intuition, fresh starts with your emotional connections. You got a lot of fresh starts here and downloads. Three of Pentacles. Okay? People want to recognize you. People are going to want to collaborate with you. You are about to align with um, people who are equally yoked. Each person has a pinnacle to bring to the connection. Ain't nobody coming with a handout. Unleash your kindness, your kindest self. Everybody ain't out to get you, baby. Everybody ain't out to make life hell, baby. Unleash your kindest self. What's this? Wow, the devil in reverse removal of bondages coming out of toxicity wow and this came i don't know if y'all saw it this was on top of detoxify spirit is asking you to detox detach from shit that's unhealthy overcome evil remove yourself from bondage release yourself from bondage sever you know, any fucking relationships, connections, whatever you have, there, there is nothing but toxicity and, and brings you down. Heavy Capricorn energy on this. The devil card is Capricorn energy. And this is full moon in Capricorn. And this is also an eight year. Eight is ruled by Saturn. Capricorn comes from the planet Saturn. Capricorn could be very heavy. Anything else for unleash your kind of self? No? Okay, Ace of Wands is at the bottom of the deck, I'll tell you that. That talks about new beginnings, new, a fresh start. You got a lot of newness coming in, a lot of aces. You having the vitality to go for what you want. Spirit handing you the baton to go, to run the play. Please, don't allow this shit, whatever you've gone through, to sap the life out of you and continue to steal from you. Now let's talk about this first quarter moon in Sagittarius. Believe in your good luck. Ooh. Child, Ten of Cups, flip out first. Believe in your good luck. Ten of Cups, excuse me, talks about happiness, ultimate happiness, joy, success, fulfillment, your rainbow, your heart's desires. You got the Nine of Cups. One second, babies. You got the Nine of Cups, which talks about self-fulfillment. And then you got the Ten of Cups, okay? Where you you have other people you can share that with, like a home, a family. Not just you, but you now sharing it with other people. That's why you got to unleash your kindest self. You got new people coming in who want to love on you. And that's also why, because you got Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Baby, you got to detoxify and walk away from what don't serve you. And it could be a lot of shit that's tied to your emotions. Family, friends, emotional connections, all of that. Spirit say let all of that go and believe in your good luck because you got a rainbow coming. You got a wish fulfillment coming. You got a bright future ahead of you. Ten of Cups and the damn sun came out in this reading. Don't play with me, y'all. Don't play with me. What else? Mm, and that flew. The Empress in reverse. Okay, a lot of you all feel like you're barren. A lot of you all feel like, you know, I've, I, you've had difficulty in, you know, being abundant. You've, been, you, you've had difficulty in um, having favor. You know, money may have dried up. But also, I feel like with this Empress in reverse, this is a lot of y'all not knowing y'all worth. I'm just going to call it as it is. This is a lot of y'all limiting yourself. This is a lot of y'all turning your back on your divinity. This is a lot of you all turning your back on your birthright to have a good life. To be in this empress energy upright. Of somebody who is fulfilled. Has material wealth. Is nurturing. Is provided for. 
is fruitful, is abundant. No, a lot of you all are here. You don't believe in your own luck, in your own good luck. Libra, Taurus could be prominent. Virgo also, but Libra and Taurus. Empress in reverse. A lot of you all are out of your nature. You could feel out of nature. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why I'm picking up on somebody who may have a tumultuous relationship with their mom. Tower. Child, I said that and the tower card came. Baby. Mm. <laughs> tower talks about a destruction. You know, shit crashing down. Sudden changes. Sudden epiphanies. You know, something quick. A destruction. You know, a lot of you all have been dealing with some sort of a tower moment, especially in your life, especially with people. It could be people close to you. And it's because these people do not align with the future spirit has for you or the foundation that you want to build for yourself. Let them go. Let them tower moments happen because whatever is trying to leave your life right now is fucking with your luck. It's fucking with your belief in your luck, your belief in yourself. Hmm. Let them tower moments happen and detoxify, please. What else do we have for believing your good luck? What else do we have for believing your good luck, spirit? Queen of Cups. Okay, what I tell you, I felt water energy. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, take it as it resonates. But this is also you being nurturing, warm, empathic. You know, how keeping your charisma. This is tapping also into you being, unleashing your kindest self. Don't harden up because of what the fuck you've been through. Yes, set boundaries. Yes, don't be no damn fool. But don't make yourself a fortress. Don't lock off this empress energy, this goddess energy. Don't lock that off. Because your kindest self. Let me talk to you about the empress. Empress energy is very Venusian, you know? Venus is the planet of finer things, beauty, love, grace, softness, you know? So with that being said, when you tap into that energy, you know, you present yourself as this god or this goddess, and people want to gift you things because you're, you, one thing about that Aphrodite energy, people like giving offerings to goddesses. You know, people, that's why I say, <clears throat> or people say, period, that Venusian people, particularly if you have a Libra or a Taurus rising, if you're not out here being spoiled left and right, you hustling backwards. Because that's your divinity. You are Venus ruled, meaning you're a goddess, meaning that when people connect with you, they want to give you things. They want to spoil you. I've talked about that on this reading, too. Not on this reading, but on this channel about tapping into that Venusian energy. But when you feel like it doesn't exist or when you feel conflicted by it, you know, or when you're not believing in yourself, when you're putting limits on yourself, when you're taking yourself out of your nature, it dries your good luck up. It dries up all of the things that come to you naturally. Do we have anything else for believe in your good luck? Sagittarius also talks about expanding. The Empress card can also talk about a pregnancy. Uh, that's not for everybody. So just take that as it resonates. Thank you, Spirit. Ten of Wands. A lot of y'all got some burdens that y'all need to be releasing. Some shit y'all need to be letting down. Aren't y'all exhausted? Aren't y'all exhausted with how shit's been going? Why not try something new? We see where holding on to shit has got us. We see where being out of alignment has got us. You know, we see where, you know, allowing our mind to take over and, and stress us the fuck out has got us. Now let's do something new. Let's see where detoxing will get us. Walking away from shit that doesn't serve us. 
going to seek things that will. Let's let's see where that gets us. It's a beautiful day to do that. Don't you agree? Hmm. I'm going to leave it here. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to A. Nicole Tarot. I'm your girl, A. Nicole. Y'all know. Y'all know how I go. Okay? I hope these messages have brought you some sort of clarity, comfort, closure, whatever it was you were looking for, baby. I hope you found it here and then some. Okay? Y'all know that I'm rooting for y'all. Y'all know that I love y'all. Y'all know that I want the best for y'all. Y'all know I'm always going to come for y'all. Because I'm rooting for y'all, I love y'all and I want the best for y'all. Okay? And take this from someone with a Sagittarius stellium. Believe in your good luck. Be optimistic. Okay? As long as you keep your head to the sky. Okay? Be optimistic. Ain't that what they say? Ain't be optimistic. Yeah. As long as you keep your head to the sky, baby. Stop playing games with your future. Heal. You got a new age coming in. The star card. This is Aquarius energy. Uranus energy. New technology. A new age is trying to come through. Keep your hope high. Your wishes will come. Your dreams will be fulfilled. You got seven here. No, 17. I'm sorry. One plus seven adds up to eight. Eight talks about abundance and it's an eight year. 2024. Two plus two plus four is eight. You got a, you got, you got a beautiful, I did a reading yesterday with a, a beautiful sister. All her cards was like, girl, if you don't come on out of that. We got a life. We trying to give you, we trying to, we trying to bless you. Y'all too. Y'all too. Queen of Wands just came out. <laughs> wow. Queen of Wands being energetic, being optimistic. Something about optimism Having the self-confidence, clearing your head, something about y'all's thoughts too. Detox that shit. Going after what you want. And here we are again. A Queen of Wands. Um, this is fire energy. Leo Aries Sagittarius. Wheel of Fortune. A lot of you all are feeling a big shift. You're being pushed into a big shift. You all are clearing karma. You all are reaching a turning point. You know, a lot of you all have come to a point of no return and now. Since you're in a point of no return, you got to keep going. Seven of Wands talks about protecting yourself, standing up for yourself. Not letting people try you, always being ready. Putting your guard up, putting boundaries up. That's what we need to do in this new season. Especially with your connections, baby. <laughs> Especially with your connections. Don't let people just run amok, be all willy-nilly in your fucking life. Have some fucking uh, rules, some ground rules. Watch the people that's coming in your life who want to come into your life, who want to form unions with you, especially motherfuckers who done stabbed you in your fucking back and you didn't reach the end of the fucking uh, karmic cycle with them. They cannot come. You've reached the end. You got 10 here and you got 10 here. You've done a whole lot of completions. 10, 10, 10 across the board. Okay. Literally, you got seven plus three ten ten tens across the board three of cups talks about um happiness celebrating okay friendships so watch out for these people friends foes hoes relationships who trying to come back you are in a new you are in a new chapter a new karmic cycle you've, you've already completed the last one let that shit go detoxify Put your guard up. Set them boundaries. Keep them blocks. Okay? I'm going to leave it here. I said that four minutes ago, but I'm going to leave it here. All right? Um, keep y'all head up. Keep y'all motherfucking bread up. And keep these hoes fed the fuck up. Keep these hoes fed the fuck up. Okay? Keep these hoes fed the fuck up. Okay? Because one thing about me, I wake up in the motherfucking morning and I be like, yeah, <laughs> I'm about to make a few holes ball. They motherfucking face up and they do face be balled up. Mm hmm. I need you to do the same. Be optimistic. OK, keep your head to the fucking sky. Believe in your good luck. Detox the shit that doesn't serve you. Let's get it. It's 2020 motherfucking four. Let's get it. 
I'm going to leave it here. I'll leave my information below if you want to connect with me. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm. And it makes your girl so happy. Thank you so much for tuning in to A. Nicole Tarot. I'm your girl, A. Nicole. Bye-bye.